Associations between uh, vitamin D and MS, they were first uh, shown in the animal studies, which is where we sort of got the inkling that, you know, maybe uh, there really was something here, because um, it had been observed, I'm sure you're aware of the latitude gradient with MS, um, mm -hmm. where historically um, the prevalence of the disease has been higher in the higher latitudes um, than lower latitudes. Uh, suggesting that sun exposure might have a, a role. And of course, the primary source of vitamin D for most people is sun exposure. Um, and you get over the course of a year, less sun exposure in more northern latitudes than in, um, in latitudes closer to the equator. So with, with that, uh, in uh, the mid 2000s, we decided to take a look at um, vitamin D uh, intake from diet and risk of MS in our nurses health study cohort. So we have um, uh, 200,000 nurses, uh, many of whom have been uh, supplying us with uh, information on their diets for a number of years, among other uh, risk factors, other factors. And in those cohorts, we saw that women who were um, had a higher intake of vitamin D from supplements, had a lower risk of MS. And so we went from there to our military study, again, those same samples where we were able to look at EBV, we measured the vitamin D levels. Um, and so in presumably otherwise healthy young individuals, um, those with higher levels of vitamin D had a lower risk um, of MS. And then conversely, uh, in the Finnish maternity cohort study, we had a lot of uh, a high percentage of people who were vitamin D deficient. So you're able to sort of look at the other end of the scale, if you will. Women who had um, high level or uh, vitamin D deficiency uh, and insufficiency in those women was associated with about a twofold increased risk in MS. So we've been able to show the increased risk with low levels of vitamin D, the decreased risk with high levels of vitamin D. Um, and there have been uh, uh, some other studies which have also um, have seen the same uh, the same effect.